rainy thing out here, folks, but this is a severe thunderstorm in Seward County. We just got issued the warning, which includes the city of Seward. This is not good. I hope the cats are safe. Uh, I'll put this, uh, those of you watching on YouTube, uh, this is not good. This is the best I could do. This is at night, so that's why you can't see nothing here. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the camera wet here. Yeah, this is a severe thunderstorm. You can't really see much, but except with the lightning, but I probably shouldn't even be standing here by the door, but Wow, I can't even stand on the step, it's so bad. Yeah. Wow. And now we're watching through our back my Ooh. Is that hail? Did I just hear hail? Okay, we gotta cut this short folks. It's starting to rain in. And now we're going downstairs. programming right now because the capital city as well as Beatrice as well as Seward uh, could experience if they are not already uh, experiencing uh, severe winds to the tune of 60 miles an hour gusting. Now taking a look at radar over the last hour shows that really in the capital city we haven't seen any rain yet. We're on the edge. The this is the local channel. The that's the weather channel over there. Lines of, of the line of showers and thunderstorms and that's where sometimes the wind is the worst. It's that wind gust can really get you when the winds really aren't blowing too much and all of a sudden they just come in, pick everything up and dump it over. So maybe if you live in East Lincoln, uh, the winds haven't perhaps haven't gotten there yet, uh, but we are talking about severe winds of 60 miles an hour or greater. Possibly some small hail mixed in as well. Current look at radar continues to show these uh, the entire counties of Lancaster and Gage still in a severe thunderstorm warning for 60 mile an hour winds. The strongest of the storms as far as uh, uh, the reflectivity data, which you know as radar, well, those are up here in Seward. You're getting some heavy rain right now and possibly, possibly up to penny-sized hail, but that would be officially below severe limits. Being inside away from windows is still a good bet, though, or a good idea, I should say. From Lincoln to Beatrice, the rain is moving in, and here on the southwest side of Lincoln, right about here is where KLKN is located, and we did, I did just hear some strong winds blow in. It's not that bad out there right now, so it might just be that initial initial burst, that initial uh, blowing in of the winds. That's when you're going to really get those garbage cans that get knocked over, maybe some minor wind damage, some trees, perhaps branches down, things like that. Those are the kind of things we've been hearing uh, for some of the reports across Saline and especially Jefferson counties. Now, taking a last look here at the rate, at the warning situation, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning for all of Lancaster County, including Lincoln, until midnight. Also for all of Gage, including Beatrice, and for Seward County, including the city of Seward, for the possibility of 60 mile an hour winds, perhaps even greater, uh, over the next half hour's time. Uh, the winds are blowing through Lancaster as we speak. Here's another look at the watch situation. Out to our west, that severe thunderstorm watch expires at 1 a.m. And we are looking now at this 24-hour storm reports, the hail and the wind reports that we've been getting in so far. Uh, the severe reports have been out to the west. Now, we've had reports of, uh, say, P to marble-sized hail and 40 to 50 mile-an-hour gusts uh, in the vicinity of uh, southeastern Nebraska where these storms are coming from but those don't make the grade for being officially severe so they're not going to make this map but they might make some branches fall in your backyard. Now we're looking out to the south of Nebraska Lottery Tower Cam 8 right here and we are continuing to look for uh, any signs of uh, say the storms actually rolling in which right now as we look to the south you might not even see any lightning out there which we didn't on that shot but if you look to the west yes it would uh, most likely see some flashes of lightning as these storms rumble in. So once again, if you're just joining us, uh, then we are talking about a severe thunderstorm warning for Lancaster and Gage and also into Seward County 
All three of those cities, Beatrice, Lincoln, and Seward, are included in the severe thunderstorm warning until midnight with a possibility of 60 mile an hour winds blowing in from the west. So uh, take that into account, perhaps before you go to bed tonight, uh, maybe if you live where the winds haven't moved in yet, uh, you can take care of business as far as uh, protecting the lawn furniture and things like that and any of your valuables outside. Maybe bring the car in and put it in the garage or something like that. Here we're from Seward to Lincoln down to Beatrice. That's what the severe thunderstorm warning is. It expires at midnight, 12 a.m. for all three of those counties. So these storms are rumbling through. And something interesting we just saw, I'm going to zip through these maps because I, I want to show it to you. This system will update live on the fly as to who has the warning. See, see how all of Gage County is no longer included in the severe thunderstorm warning. Beatrice, the winds have already moved through you. Now we're in eastern Gage County. You see how this is deline delineated here by this the changing of the severe thunderstorm warning box area, if you will. You can see where the National Weather Service is drawing uh, the areas that the winds are still going through right now or will be going through soon. The severe winds of 60 miles an hour or greater. Still most of Lancaster County is in that severe thunderstorm warning, including Lincoln, uh, for the next half hour or so for the strong winds. And also into Seward County as well, some gusty winds possible there. If you do live in eastern Lancaster, eastern Gage, most likely the direction the winds will be coming from would be from the west. But if you live in northeastern Seward County, the winds could actually be coming from almost any direction because you have a thunderstorm right overhead and sometimes you get the outflow in, in more than one direction. But here in eastern Lancaster, eastern Gage, that's where you're getting the strong straight line winds up to 60 miles an hour. That's why there's a severe thunderstorm warning in effect in those areas. Now over the last hour, these storms, they were heading east and all of a sudden they took a jog, well, kind of straight to the north here as far as the individual storms themselves. But now they're kind of deciding to go east again. So it's, you know, what's going to happen next, right? North or east? Let's go with northeast. Lincoln right now under a severe thunderstorm warning. Also be uh, areas east of Beatrice now for the possibility of 60 mile an hour winds. And also the thunderstorms are moving through Seward right now with perhaps some small hail as well. Uh, what I want to do now is put the radar back in motion. I'm going to check to see if any reports have come out that I can tell you about for any of these storms. Uh, continue severe thunderstorm warning for Gage, Lancaster, Seward for the possibility of 60 mile an hour winds until midnight. So anywhere across Lancaster and much of eastern Gage, northern Gage as well, and northeastern Seward counties, you can continue to see the possibility of 60 mile an hour winds as these storms roll through. Now the good news is this doesn't look like it's going to be a, a prolonged severe weather event that lasts into the overnight hours. It looks like this will be, this is probably going to be it for the, for the severe weather chances for the rest of the night. So once we get to the, past the midnight hour, we're just expecting some thunderstorms to rumble through, most likely below severe limits. So this is kind of like right, right at the time when we could have gotten the severe weather, and it appears that some parts of the area are getting severe wind right now. It's more so a wind event than a hail event. 60 mile an hour winds will be possible with a severe thunderstorm warning right now in effect for much of Lancaster County, including Lincoln. And now Eastern Gage County has the severe thunderstorm warning as well for the possibility of the 60 mile an hour winds. And some small hail is probably going on right now around Seward as well. Now I keep checking back behind the curtain to see if there are any reports uh, from the National Weather Service uh, chat room that I'm logged on to now. Uh, because the people, the emergency management officials from different counties will kind of uh, give their two cents on what's, what they're hearing across their counties. So far, so good. We haven't seen too many reports, and that's usually a good thing. But nonetheless, the severe thunderstorm warning continues for much of Lancaster and Eastern Gage as well, and into Seward County, for the possibility of up to 60 mile an hour winds. Now, because of the fact we haven't been getting any reports, severe reports in, other than about uh, 45 minutes ago, Fairbury did report some, uh, some tree branches and some small trees down. So there was some wind damage in Fairbury uh, down here in Jefferson County uh, within the last hour. But since that, I haven't seen any severe reports come over the wire. So because of that, we're probably going to send you back to the good old Jimmy Kimmel if he's still on. And uh, if we get any more reports, we're going to break back in and tell you about them. But until then, just know that we have a severe thunderstorm warning, Lancaster, Lincoln, east of Beatrice, and up towards Seward, for the, the main threat at this point looks to be damaging winds of 60 miles an hour. Have a great night. I have mental health. And that's all the report for now. Health. I have mental health. We will be back. I have mental health.